Hey everybody, so Tom dragged me to one of my least favorite places in the world today, the mall. While he was off shopping for some after Christmas clearance sweaters, I made a beeline for the holiday decorations. I didn't know what I was going to find, but I think I got kind of lucky because I, was, I went to the Sears in their holiday stuff. Um, they were getting rid of most everything at this point it looked like they're you know setting up for spring which is actually what i was going to look at i wanted to look at you know, all the garden stuff but um i found this in the clearance section they had a couple of them it's the virtual holiday projector by mr christmas it retails for 99.99 and they had it on 80 percent off clearance so i paid 21 dollars with tax for this which i thought you know hopefully might be a bargain for a halloween decoration um, and, you know, I can use it for Christmas decorating, too, because what this does is it has um, basically four movies of each type. There's four Christmas movies and four Halloween uh, movies, and basically, you know, it's a projection effect, so we'll project it in the window, and, you know, maybe it'll look cool. And for 20 bucks for a Halloween prop, I think it'll work. You know, I'll find a place for it regardless. So I thought we'd take a look at it together and see if it is, in fact, a bargain or if it's really just a piece of junk, because what can you expect um, for 20 bucks. <laughs> um, what can you even really expect for a hundred bucks if it includes a projector? Now this one, you know, it does come preloaded with some movies, but it says that you can use your, you know, a thumb drive and, um, you know, use your own movies on it as well. So I'm guessing this is not a hugely high quality projector, but maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised. You know, it's for 20 bucks. <laughs> I can't really go wrong, right? So the um, projection effects that we see on the side here look kind of cheesy. I mean, for Christmas, they've got a Santa waving. I think um, that's like a Santa workshop or something. And there's a Santa family. And then just some snow effects. Which here in Georgia, you'd think might be, you know, kind of a neat little projection effect since it's something we hardly ever get. But as we are currently experiencing some snow and frigid weather, I am totally over the snow. Anyway. Um, for the Halloween, it looks like they call it some bouncing um, skulls or something. It looks really cheesy. I hate those sort of stupid cheesy effects. But then they've got some walking zombie shadows, which I think is pretty cool. I actually use um, one of those effects in a different window. Um, anyway, we also have an eyeball, it looks like. And then I think they called it something like Phantom in the Park. Uh, in fact, I glanced these instructions already so that we wouldn't be too... Um, held up, putting the whole thing together. Yeah, they call it Phantom in the Park, which clearly, clearly looks like a Disney effect. And I think that's what they are um, implying with the park reference. So anyway, Skull Bounce, Zombie Shadows, Hallow Eyes, Phantom in the Park. The Christmas was Snowfall, Santa's Magic Workshop, Santa at the Window, and Magic Disappearing Santa, Mrs. and Elf. Wonder why they're magic disappearing, Santa. Anyway, I don't know, but let's see what comes in the box. It looks um, pretty well packaged. We have what's obviously, I think, a screen. Now again, I did glance at the instructions. So um, it comes with this sort of screen material. Now what I used in the past for our own projection effects is just a, um, a cheap little, like, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, curtain material, you know, just the, um, the practically see-through material. Gosh, I'm blanking on what you call that. This is actually much thicker than what I use, so I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work. It does come with these sort of 3M tabs, and I guess you're supposed to stick it on each corner and then, you know, cover your window pretty taut. Now, let's just see offhand. This only measures maybe, what is that, like three by three? This is not a very big um, piece of material. Now, it's probably not going to be so bad because I've got a window right over there. We're going to try it in a little bit later. This actually looks like it might just be the exact size of my weirdly shaped window, but I don't think many houses have that sort of weirdly shaped window that I have. And I'm certainly not going to use these 3M stickers because I don't want to ruin my paint and I don't know how well these are going to work. So 
usually I put up um, my material with just blue tape, even though sometimes you got to be careful with that. Once I did bat decorations all around my living room, I blue taped them all up, and it still ripped the paint off when I took it off. I was very not happy. Anyway, got this tiny little remote, a little plug adapter thing, uh, a tripod so that we can set the projector up and point it at the window, and then of course we have the projector itself, which is very tiny. So, here we go. Um, it looks like it's got a cap for the lens, that's nice, although it's not connected, so you'll probably lose that pretty quick. Little focus knob here for the lens, the adapter plug, a couple of buttons on the top, including power and source, and then your USB um, plug so that we can you know, project our own spooky effects. So let's go ahead and plug this in and see how it works. Now, I don't think it comes with any sort of um, something to plug in. So I don't know if those effects that it comes with are just like preloaded into here. I only glanced at the directions. Um, you know what, actually, let's go ahead and test it here real quick, because it's still a little bit light out. So if we, uh, you know, try it on the window there, we're not going to really see too much. So let's just try it with these 3M uh, little sticky tabs first and see how that works. Now, it's really just peel and stick. So I'm going to stick these on the two corners here. Peel off the back. And... Alright, let's just go ahead and put it up right here. and see. Alright, so... Just going to... Pull it taut. Now, offhand, you know, it does have a lot of wrinkles in it from where it was folded very small. I don't know, I guess you could iron that out. Sheer curtains. That's what I was trying to think of earlier. I used just those little sheer curtains on my window. Anyway, that doesn't matter now. Let me turn off this desk light. All right. So, I'm not going to bother ironing it. You can also take these little 3M pieces and use it at the bottom of the window to pull it taut to give it a more realistic effect. Again, I'm not going to do that. Let's just plug this in and see what happens. This is the most twisted twist tie I have seen in God knows how long. Give me about 20 minutes here while I unravel it. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So, it does look like it's just a little 110 plug. Um, what does this say? To change the orientation, blah, 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 Some quick tips, because I think most people are probably not going to read this instruction sheet full of very tiny prints. Um, so, they give you that little quick tip thing. All right, I probably should plug this piece in first. All right, so let's go ahead and put the adapter in. Go ahead and plug it in and press the power button. Hmm. Okay. I don't think it is on. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Turned on. Okay. All right. I am going to screw in the tripod here. Now, you know, the farther back we sit this, the bigger the image will be. So I don't know how it's going to look here, but let's just see. Now this tripod is kind of small, and I guess it's enough, but let's see, you're going to have to really work it to get it to sit the way you want. Wow, okay. All right, well, there we go. I guess you don't really need a tripod. You could probably just sit it on a table, right? So there we go. Let me go ahead and turn off the lights so we can get a better look. All right, from the main screen here, we can see the various movies that are on the device. You can input your own movies, your own photos, your own music, and so forth. But let's go ahead and just see 
what they have preloaded on here for us. Now, what I'm going to, all right, I just hit OK. I'm going to hit OK for the folders. And here we have different Christmas and Halloween movies. We're just going to take a quick skim. Let's just get Christmas over with and then move on to the good stuff. So here in Christmas, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the first one here. Oh, you have to remember, you have to hit play, not OK. OK does not select it. So this is the snow. It's actually a pretty nice effect. All right, enough of that. Let's go back. And let's check out what's next. Oh, resume play. Whoops, I guess I must have hit the same one now. All right, come on, let's go back. All right, there, now we're on two. Oh, hit play. Don't hit, okay, hit play. So this is the Santa's workshop video. Right, enough of that. Next up is the snow effect. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's, did I do something wrong? I guess it keeps going back to one for some reason. This little remote is kind of, you know, it's kind of light in here too. It's a little hard to see. All right, so there's four. We need to see three. All right. So this is creepy Santa Claus. Okay. It does have audio, as you can tell, um, but what are the chances anybody's going to hear any of that? It'll probably just drive you crazy since it's playing inside the house. And the snow again. Okay. Let's get out of that. Somehow I keep ending up back on that first one. I want to click the other one, so... Let's try this one. Last one here. And it's the Santa family. Okay, enough of that. Let's go ahead and go back to the main folder. Move over to Halloween. and see what we've got going on here. All right, so the first one. Maybe, let's try that again. Oh my goodness, okay. Why does the snow keep coming back? Let's get out of here. What did I do? How did I get back to Christmas? All right. From the main folder, we're going over to Halloween. Halloween. Gonna go back over to the first one. Click it. Make it play. You know, at first I thought I was going to hate this one. I think it's a little bit catchy. It's kind of cute. But again, if you're playing this from the inside, projecting on a window, nobody's going to hear any of this. It's going to look a little strange. But if you're projecting it inside, like during a party or something, and people can hear the music, it's kind of neat. It might get a little repetitive, though. 
All right, let's check out the next one. All right, so I think we are on number two. Okay, play. Oh my God, how did I get back to snow again? All right. Why do I keep ending up in Christmas? What am I doing wrong? Halloween. All right, Halloween number two. Okay. All right, so this is the zombie shadow. I actually have a similar one of these that I loop already, and I love it. I think it's kind of cute. In fact, I think it might be this exact same one. <laughs> okay, let's get out of that. We're still in the Halloween folder. Let's go ahead and go down to number three. We have an eyeball. Doesn't seem to do much more than blink and look around a little bit. Oh, it changes colors. But I find this not scary or interesting at all. So let's go back and check out the very last one and see what it is all about. <laughs> Creepy Phantom. I really like the zombie effect. Like I said, I have used that one in the past, um, but you know, they're kind of good. Um, I would almost venture to say I'd probably try and find something on my own that I could just stick into the USB slot and just use this as a projector. I mean, it's $20 for a projector. That's about as cheap as you're going to get it, I would imagine. But um, you know, we will go ahead and test it outside, see how it looks. I went ahead and I took the material and I taped it up here on my window. Now the material size is actually 41 by 48, not three by three. Um, so, you know, you wanna take that into account to see if it's going to fit your window. It's definitely not very long, so you need a short window. Um, mine just barely covers my window here. In fact, it wouldn't cover the whole thing, but my blinds stick down a little bit at the top, so it covers it enough, I think. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to wait till it gets dark. We'll see how it looks from the outside. Um, just to reiterate though, you want to use the blue tape. I had this uh, material, you know, stuck up over my desk there. Fortunately, those little blue, um, those 3M tabs, I had stuck to like the glass portion of my cabinetry. So it was very easy to get off, but it sticks hard. So I know if you were to stick that on your paint, that is going to probably rip your paint so just take that into account when you are hanging up your material so i guess that's it um let's just go ahead and see what it looks like after dark and then we'll you know judge it from there i guess all right i let it get a little too dark before starting this video so it's kind of hard to make out but there is the window and you can see the phantom very well, actually. He shows up perhaps a little bit better in person than he does in the video here. But overall, I think this is a pretty nice prop. Um, I kind of kick myself now for only getting one. I know there were a couple of them there at Sears, but you know, even if I were to give it away, it would be worth $20. But 
I'm definitely going to figure out some use for this. I'm sure it'll work, you know, if we were going to project it outside as well, like onto the house or something, because you know, I only have so many windows at the front of my house that we could use. Uh, but I think for 20 bucks, this is great. For 100 bucks, you know, I might just invest in a better quality projector and, you know, get my own sort of imaging. But, you know, if you have a Sears near you, you might want to run out and see if they still have any available for 20 bucks. Um, I'm definitely going to go back and try and get, you know, at least one more if I can find it. Hopefully it's still there. And, uh, you know, if you want a good cheap prop, maybe you'll do the same. That's it for now, guys. Take care. Happy haunting. Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful new year. And I'll see you around.